Good morning, I'm Joseph of Sonox, and I'm going to do a quick introduction to what we are presenting here at NAM 2011. It's the new Fraunhofer Pro Codec plugin. It's a cooperation between Sonox company and the Fraunhofer Institute in Germany, which are the MP3 inventors. And what we've done here is to create this plugin where you can insert up to five different codecs, all of them coming, of course, from Fraunhofer Labs for different applications. Some of them are quite famous, MP3, AAC, that's the iTunes format, and the AHEAAC, that's, one, that's the one we use for digital broadcast, radio broadcasting or internet streaming. And then what you can do is to click on each one of them and on real time you're able to hear how they would sound once you've done, you've created your MP3 file. So in the past we only could do that offline. To once we had done our mix, then we would create the file and then over and over again in case, it, if, in case it's not right. We can compare any codec with the original input signal, that's the non-processed signal, and when we click master in and out, this is completely glitchless, so you will not hear any click or glitch during this transition. You see this red LEDs, so encoders may clip the audio during the encoding process, that's something not many people know, but we can compensate this within the plugin. You see the maximum peak reached for every single encoder, but we have a gain stage at the input. We can select exactly the same value or we can type it in, as you see, for a smooth compensation and then reset again. So then I'll make sure that this codec is not going to clip again. Another thing that I can do is A-B comparisons. I just need to select the right codex for that and the plugin is going to flip for me from A to B. I can do that completely without the visual information, so I'm just putting my ears to the test. And when I'm done, I can bounce the desired codex to disk. So I track on the codex that I want to create a file for, click record, and on the go, I'm going to create a file that's going to be finally created as soon as I stop playback. And it's going to be deposited wherever I have selected to. These are my files here. I can access the export settings where I can define the output directory and decide what kind of metadata is going to go embedded in my MP3 encoded file. I can change the order of the parameters and I can manually edit all the metadata that contains every single file. I can even import it from an existing MP3 file just by dragging and dropping. And of course, I do have offline processes as well. For offline encoding, drag and drop the file, click encode, off you go and same for offline decode to get back my WAF and AIF files from an encoded um, file. So that's basically it. I can see on the panel the input signal, which is the yellow one, and the diff signal that, by the way, I can listen to just by clicking diff signal. At this stage, I'd be hearing what I am removing during the encoding process, a very useful tool. And that's essentially it. Two months uh, still for release. And we are thinking about $500 price point. Thank you very much.